Good day guys, Bing here. Um, today uh, we're going to do some uh, section, actually section box. So you will see uh, in this image, so so on the the front part of the building, the top of the building is being cut, and also there will be a there is a, a vertical cut here as well. Um, Actually, in Revit, uh, it's not uh, possible to do it um, directly, but we can try try to get it. Uh, we can try to achieve this by using two 3D view. Okay, so let's uh, let's try it. So first, I'm just going to uh, create a project and. And I'm going to just draw some wall, WA. Okay, so this is my um, project. Okay. Um, now let's just put some roof on the top. So I use CS to create similar, and you can just pick. Oops, sorry. You can just use a uh, pick wall and tabs. So pick wall, and you can tab all all the walls. Oh, sorry, all the full walls of that uh, box. So create similar CS and pick walls, and it looks like we. We'll pick the inside of the uh, the um, the wall, so that's okay. Uh, for this exercise, I just want to quickly show you um, how to cut. I'm just going to delete some, maybe I'll delete some of. It. Okay, so now we have this. Uh, maybe I'll just change the roof to uh, along to the external. So. My wall will attach the roofs. Okay, so, oops, wrong one. Roof, edit print, go to the, the ex exterior side of the wall, so think this, and attach. Oops, sorry, I did it. I, I, I click, I press escape, sorry. Um, okay, so let's select all, attach top. Okay, attach top, I'm going to detach, attach top, detach, attach top, detach. And also looks like this one. Should go attach this one. Okay, so now this is our project. So let me just move some of the some of these walls and put them together. Okay, so okay, so this is my project. So now what I'm going to do is just like uh, uh, this image. So I'm going to cut half of the building. Um, okay, so cut off the roof and then also I'll do a vertical cut. So you won't be able to do it. Um, I mean, you can you can use a void to cut, but in this image, you cut everything. So for example, you cut the wall, cut the windows. Uh, you won't be able to do it that way. Okay, so what you need to do is you need section box. Okay, so section box is so you, you can select something. So for, for example, you can select some things, select this wall, and I go here. So this is the section box. Okay, and you can also go here. So select nothing. Okay, so select nothing, and here you can turn on the section box here. Okay, so now this is the section box. But if you do it that way, so let me, let me just uncheck this one. If you select thing, so for example, these this wall, and if you use this section box, 
it will automatic, automatically cut, cut to uh, adjust the session box to match the geometry you selected. Okay, so then you can just to manually adjust a little bit more. Okay, so now let's try to achieve uh, this. So what I'm going to do is uh, we can't just show uh, achieve that in this view. We will need to have a shade. Okay, so go here under your project browser. Go here. So I'll just use this one. And then first, let's go back to 3D view. So I'm going to just create. So currently, this is the default uh, 3D view. Okay, so we can so so roughly adjust the view. So for example, I want a similar view like this one. So it will be maybe like this. Okay. So once you are happy, so you can go here. You can. You can click on this one and you can save this view okay so just click it here and then Revit will ask you to change the name of this this 3d view so i'll call it maybe let's call it 3d view 01 and click ok so now you will see if you try if you use a uh, press shift key and then try to rotate it or if you try to click here you won't be able to rotate it because this is a uh, you have locked this view okay and then if you want to unlock it you can just go here and unlock view so now you can rotate it but if you want to go back to that view you can go click here and click restore okay and then uh, once again it's been locked okay so I'm happy with this view so now I'm going to cut the um, the you I'll, I'll use section box. So first, um, we need to cut this. Okay, cut this bit. But um, we we need to cut off the 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 the, the back part. As well so what we need to do is we need to create a section box like this big okay so go back to this 3d view I'm just going to select this sum of the wall and then use section box so now I'll just uh, roughly adjust this okay now roughly adjust this and and then we can draw drag this back so now I think uh, I'll just leave it like this for now. Okay, so now let's go right click on this view and duplicate. So I'm going to duplicate with um, because there's no, no detail, so it should be the same. So if you can create a duplicate view, just duplicate, it will be the same and it's also locked. See, it's locked. So now we can rename it to. 3D view 2. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to so drag this back to show all the you know the back part of this uh, project, and also I want to drag this roughly to match the where you know where I cut where I cut here. So, but currently I can't. Ex I won't. I can't find the where I exactly where the uh, you know what I mean um, I'll show you uh, later I'll, I'll, we, we will adjust this later but for now I'll just quickly so I just rise this so and also go down yeah so that's, that's nothing there so uh, maybe this this way yeah okay so now I think that's all good and then we can drag these two 3d view onto the shade so let's double click on this shade drag the 3d view one here 3d view two here so and when you place 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 these two because they are the, the view angles the same the scale is the same 
so you will be able to align them so if you move slowly um, actually sometimes the the title will um, the, the title will try to align as well but so I'm going to just move the title away so even in different directions so they won't affect us so now I'll show you so if we move this slowly you will find so see here so which means they are aligned and then also I'll move this down and see this one so until you find this uh, uh, two dashed line so which means now they are aligned but it's it's quite um, it's not quite right you you will see the you know actually this should be back and uh, it looks like this is cover uh, this is covering the front part so what we need to do is so go to the shade okay so now currently we have two view so one we placed this is because we placed the 3d view one first okay and then we place the 3d view two and anything placed after the previous one will be on top of the previous one so what we need to do is we just need to drag here drag this 3d view one back again into the shade so now we, i'll just direct uh, directly just move this to align this view and go up to here okay and then i place it now you will see the 3d view one is a cover covering the uh, view two and you will see the walls not aligned that's uh, that's because uh, the where where the section box cut the wall it's not um, the same so we just need to adjust that okay so um, now to do that um, um, hang on, let me think uh, we need to add because we can't really um, there's no easy way to to match so what we need to do is I'm going to just go to ground floor so um, let me just go sorry have a look in 3d view or oh, maybe go to the shade I'll just roughly get the idea of where this line is so roughly about here so it's next to this wall so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to floor floor plan and I'm going to use a a, a model line I'm going to draw a model line so model line here and oh sorry not model test model line okay I'll draw a model line about here so this is here is where roughly I cut the the uh, I place the section box so now go back to your 3d view one because we you will be able you should be able to see if I drag this section box a little bit back you will be able to see this model line right but you won't be able to align the section box to this line so what we can do is we can just because currently it's locked let's just unlock view and then we can go to the top view so select this section box we can try to manually just drag this section box as close as possible and also you can turn off the thin line so you and just you can you can have you can um, hold the left uh, mouse the, the key and then scroll forward so we will zoom in and try to I think this should be close enough okay so now this is one of the view so now we can just go back here and then restore orientation and we can uh, go back to the 3d view 2 let's do the same so you will see this lines here so un unlock go to top and select this section box and then drag just drag this section box and also zoom in and try to move it as close as possible to the model line okay so now we can go restore 
and we can go back to the sheet. So let's have a look at this sheet. So now they are almost you know ma matching now. So the only thing we have here, so um, the section box won't uh, you won't see the section box when you print print PDF or print to uh, when you pr print out. Usually you won't see them. So let me just temporary HH and also HH this section box. So now the only issue we have is there's a there's a line here. See this line um, where you cut where where you cut wall with a section box. Um, I don't think you can do anything to it. Um, let's try long work. Can we do long work? Probably not. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, okay. So that's I think that's that's it. Um, if you let, let me try the line work. I think uh, this will make the whole wall invisible. So instead of you know, normally you can just pick one line, but if it's cut by section box, you won't be able to use the. So see, it will hide this line as well. So or um, I don't know if you find a solution for this, please let me know. Okay, so so the, that's it. So this is how you can cut a a model like this style. Okay? Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.